Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is about ceramides in skincare. Is it a fad or is it fact? Uh, what percentage we should we be using? What does it do? The benefits, uh, the side effects, mistakes that get made with ceramides, and then all the Dr. V approved products. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. So every product I ever recommend to you on here or on my Instagram, which is Dr. Mita Rattan, all non-sponsored evidence-based information that are safe for skin of color to use. Right, so if you aren't following me on YouTube, please do. I'm in the comment section for one out the launch of every single video. So make sure you hit that bell. Um, please do follow me on Instagram as well. I've got two accounts, Skincare by Dr. V and Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm on TikTok, Dr. Benita Rattan. And please do download your free guide for 2022 skincare down below. Also, you can join our private Facebook group, which is such an amazing safe space for us to talk about skincare called Dr. V Sock Family. And we are global. So if you have a skincare issue and you're in New Zealand or you're in India or you're in South Africa, you can write it down and you will have people in there from your part of the world to recommend products and go through your journey with them. Right, so if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So first of all, what are ceramides? So ceramides are lipids, they're fats. They make up 50% of the skin's composition. Now with skin of color, we have less ceramides than Caucasian skin. So often our skin can become drier and duller faster. The reason is that lipids essentially hold water in the top layer of skin. It's, they reduce transepidermal water loss. And especially in the winter or if you're in air conditioning, you can have more water evaporation from the skin. This means that those, the keratinocytes, the skin cells that are packed full of melanin are packed closer together because they don't have the water molecules in between them. Now, what happens when you pack highly pigmented skin over highly pigmented skin over highly pigmented skin? The skin starts to look dull. And this is why when you put a moisturizer on and you're putting water molecules back in the, into the epidermis, your skin immediately starts to glow. In addition, the skin is healthier. When the skin is healthier, the proteins are working correctly, the enzymes are working correctly, and you know your, your skin basically just doesn't age as rapidly. Uh, you're able to free, uh, fight free radicals faster, and wound healing is improved. In addition, if your skin is irritated, if your skin is drier, it's irritated, and it can't really buffer against active ingredients that you put on the skin that will further irritate your skin, such as retinol. Retinol on dry skin equals a mistake equals damaged skin barrier, equals flaking sensitive skin. It's really important to wear ceramides to lock in moisture, if you, especially if you want to use you know, acids or irritating ingredients. But this is also one of the reasons why for skin of color, my preference is not retinol. My preference is going to be either retinol palmitate, which is less uh, irritating, but also less effective, or retinaldehyde, which is 11 times as effective as retinol, so it works much faster, but without any irritation. The problem is it's very expensive and it's hard to get hold of in ingredients. So even with our antioxidant power serum in the Dr. Mita Rattan range, um, you will see that it has retinol palmitate in it, which I'm happy for you to wear, wear daily. It's gonna have no issues, no pain, no irritation on the skin. But in the future, maybe six months from now, I'm thinking about actually adding retinaldehyde into this product to make it even more effective. Some other benefits from ceramides are that it's anti-aging. So when your skin is dry, it leads to more wrinkles. Um, and so actually you want your skin cells to be juicy and plump to minimize um, visibility of wrinkles. In addition, when your skin is dry, pores are, look much bigger. You want a hydrated, healthy barrier in order to minimize pores. You want pores to skin to snap back. With pores, you want to minimize sebum production, but you also want a healthy skin barrier, which is hydrated, that can snap back. Research has also shown that those people with eczema tend to have less ceramides in their skin. And this is one of the reasons why eczema affects skin of color is because we have less ceramides in our skin. So moisturizing our skin correctly using a NAIF safe moisturizer is absolutely staple to any skincare routine. Now with skin of color, if your skin is naturally more of a dry type, um, then it's worth 
taking supplements with hyaluronic acid in it. So for me, for example, when I make the uh, my collagen drink, I, in there I put hyaluronic acid because I tend to get dry skin, especially in the winter. And so for me, the quickest way for me to consume all the vitamins that I need for the day really is in our uh, collagen boost drink. I'm going to do a whole video for you based on collagen boost and what I've put in there and I made it specific for skin of color. We need certain supplements that have never been made together for skin of color and I'll go through that later in a different video. So how often can you use ceramides? So ceramides are skin identical ingredients. This means you can use it without irritating the skin. I personally use it twice a day, but if you have dry skin or you're prone to eczema, I would use it four times a day. There are certain ingredients that work very well with ceramides and boost each other's function. So starting off with peptides, which are great for anti-aging. So imagine peptides are stimulating collagen and then ceramides are locking in moisture allowing the peptides to work optimally. So that's a great combination for anti-aging, which is the reason why I put them together in our CeraPep moisturizer. Glycerin is another great ingredient to use with ceramides because glycerin is a water magnet. So it's holding water together and then you are locking, sealing in the water into the skin. So again, again creating a healing environment for your skin to recover and repair. The next uh, set of ingredients are anti-inflammatories, things like aloe, panthenol, allantoin. So these are anti-inflammatory ingredients that work well in the skin, but also you have ceramides locking that all in too, preventing any further irritation happening to the skin. So they work very well together. The next one I love is cholesterol with uh, ceramides if you have a damaged skin barrier and you need to repair it, because again, that's another skin identical ingredient. And and the other one I love, love, love with ceramides is niacinamide. So niacinamide is basically a skin, it helps create a healthy skin barrier. It reduces erythema and inflammation. It's also an antioxidant. So that works very well at a similar pH to ceramides. So when do you start using ceramides at what age? So I would definitely have started ceramides by your 30s. The reason is you're losing ceramides as you get older. This is one of the reasons your skin is becoming drier. In addition, you're already losing glucose aminoglycans, those things like hyaluronic acid, which are your water magnets. So imagine you're, using, you're losing ceramides and you're losing your water magnets. Your skin gets drier. And by the time you get to menopause, your skin is drier than ever. And so I would highly recommend in order to keep that healthy, recovering skin, use your ceramides from 30 years old onwards. I also prefer that you use a leave-on products rather than wash-off products uh, because ceramides can stay on the skin all day. They're UV stable, they're skin identical. Uh, there's no reason to be putting them in washes and washing it off your skin. The big mistake I see with ceramides is packaging. Ceramides are unstable. This means that you want opaque packaging. You want packaging where basically light can't get to the products. This is a CeraPep brightening moisturizer. So you don't want light getting through it. You want a pump so that basically less air is getting to the product. Um, and that way you know that your ceramides are stable. This is a reason I don't like tubs with ceramides in them and I prefer a pump. Also, there are nine different types of ceramides. It doesn't matter which ones you choose. They function in a very similar way. Um, and so, you know, it doesn't matter which ones you're mixing and matching. So you might be asking how to layer your morning routine with ceramides. So I would wash with your micellar gel wash, use your ceramide uh, moisturizer, followed by your SPF 50, which is essential. And this is basically how you layer it at nighttime. So you do your double cleanse, so your oil melting cleanser and your micellar gel wash, your toner, once a week exfoliate the skin, apply your antioxidant serum, and then your ceramides after. Okay, so my favorite uh, ceramide products, uh, starting off with the CeraVe, but the pump version, not the tub version. Um, the second product I like is Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturize and Repair. Um, again, it's better if you get the pump version for hygiene. However, I would say it's got isopropyl palmitate in there, so avoid it if you've got acne prone skin. The next product I love is uh, Face Theory Cera Quench Renew Cream. And this contains glycerol stearate SE, so again, avoid it if you have acne, but great for normal skin or dry skin. Um, the next product I love is the Inky Less Ceramide Night Treatment. And then the only reason to use our 
um, Serapap is because it's got ceramides, peptides, licorice root and niacinamide in it so it's good for anti-aging and brightening. So I actually made it for my own skin and those are my main concerns is anti-aging and brightening but it's not everybody's concerns, everyone's got different concerns so it's good to pick the ceramide cream that's suitable for your skin type. Don't forget I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video so please be here to ask me your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!